Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video in today's Kingdom Hearts 3 video guide we're going to be showing you or more like explaining every game record in the game this will obviously get you the one for books achievement or trophy I believe that's what it's called anyway so obviously in your game if you haven't completed the game records section you won't actually get a complete list because you don't actually have to beat records you just simply have to get yourself a high score even if it's just kill one enemy so the intention of this video is apart from explaining a few things to just show you guys the full list so you guys know exactly what to do to get the trophy so as you can see we have obviously done everything and we're going to go through a few things i mean we're going to go through all of it just so you guys can see the full list or at least write it down yourselves and compare it to what you're missing for the trophy but uh, there's also a few things I would like to explain. Now, let's start off with the first one, which are the combat ones. Most of these do explain themselves, but shot locks, for instance. So shot locks are the abilities that each Keyblade has got when you hold down the R1 button, lock onto a few enemies, and then press the attack button. Now, as you can probably see, uh, basically all you have to do is just hit a single enemy uh, with all the different shot locks there are like this is just literally key different key blades and that's all there is to it but a lot of people um, ask me why does the one key blade have multiple shot locks so a lot of people think that you get a different shot lock when you evolve the uh, item or sorry the weapon you know when you've got the charge and then you can go into like second form and all that that is not actually how you use a different shot lock. It doesn't matter how many times you evolve the weapon, the shot lock is going to be exactly the same. The way you use different shot locks, for instance, most of them have two. I think there is one or two with three. But basically, one shot lock is going to be fully charged. So you want to hold down the R1 button and lock onto enemies until it says max and then you attack. That's going to be one move. And the other shot lock is just simply not max it out. Just press the R1 button just get the number up to one or whatever that's not maxed and then press the attack button this will basically just release a weaker shot lock and it looks completely different and that is how you're going to be able to uh, choose which shot lock per weapon you want to use so we're just going to quickly go through the list of weapons we've obviously got the kingdoms the kingdom key the hero's key shooting star uh, the favorite deputy ever after happy gear Crystal Snow, Wheel of Fate, Nano Gear, Honey Spout. So these, uh, this is actually the weapon uh, that's got three different ones. Just keep that in mind. So these, these two weapons right here, the Grand Chef and the Classic Tone. Now these are two weapons that you don't necessarily have to pick up. They're kind of um, optional weapons, a bit of secret weapons. So to get the Grand Chef, what you have to do is get excellent on every single recipe in the Grand Bistro. Uh, that means do all the mini games perfectly. Uh, you're going to need a, a ton of material, not material, sorry, ingredients for this. Uh, once you've got excellent on all of them, you will unlock the Grand Chef. Now, obviously, you will need this weapon to be able to complete the game records. And the Classic Tome is kind of pretty similar. To get the Classic Tome, you have to get a high score, a personal high score on all the classic games in the uh, gummy phone so you gotta find all the classic games around the world then get a personal high score which is actually very quick on every single one of these games and that will give you the classic tone because uh, these are obviously got their own shot locks and you will need them to get this uh, trophy apart from that every other thing except obviously ultima weapon you do obviously need ultima weapon uh, i probably will leave a few uh, interesting videos i did guides like how to get the Ultima weapon and stuff, maybe the location of all the ingredients. I'm going to leave a few videos in the description that may help you out. But yeah, uh, as for shot locks, it's pretty self-explanatory and uh, yeah, not really much more to say about that. Uh, attractions. Uh, these are the summons. I mean, there's only a few. There's Pirate Ship, Mad Teacups, Blaster Blaze, Magic Carousel and splash rush uh really these you'll just you'll get automatically like i don't think like if you complete the game chances are you've got these if not just go to different places in the game uh hit different enemies and uh you should be able to summon pretty much every one of these multiple times but trust me if you complete the game chances are you've got all these 
links. Now these are the other types of summons. Uh, these also come automatically. You just have to hit a single enemy with every single one of them. There is one which is the sea spectacle that is optional. You get this from a chest in the Caribbean world in I, I believe it's like what the first cave, the undersea cave right at the start. You get that from down there in a chest. Make sure you use that. If not, you will not get the record. But apart from that, everything else comes naturally. For missions, you have just simply got to post any score with the Fantastic 7, which are seven mini games that will give you uh, unique ingredients around the world. I also made a video on the location of these, which I'll leave in the description. Uh, then we've got the mini games. So Verum Rex is in the Toy Story world, uh, the massive controller pad that uh, you, you know, it's just the same place as you play it in the story. So it's impossible to miss. Festive Dancer, also in the same place you play it in the story in uh, Corona. Frozen Slider, you have to come back to the Ice Palace in Frozen World and talk to Elsa to be able to play that again, just get any score. Flash Tracer, so I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description for this one because uh, you do have to find the two NPCs around San Fran Tokyo to be able to do both of the courses. And 100 Acre Woods, just do the free mini games in Winnie the Pooh's world. And yeah, once you've done all that, uh, you should have everything with the Mickey Mouse face and there's your trophy. I'm going to leave uh, for a second the shot locks, just, uh, well, I, you know, I'll leave everything up for a second. But um, basically, you know, this just has, so you can compare the list with, uh, with your own. Uh, I may even write all this down in the description just so you've got a proper list to compare to your to your list and see what you're missing because really it's not about beating any high score it's just simply posting any kind of score on all these things uh, to be able to get this trophy so you know I'll leave everything in the description the full list of everything you have to do and uh, yeah guys hopefully this video is helpful if it is please go like and subscribe and we'll see you next time guys